This tutorial is going to look at how to calibrate an external face-on camera. So I've gone ahead and placed the external face-on camera where I want it. And then you can see that I've placed four balls on the ground. And the importance is that we need to keep these four balls as far away from each other as possible, but still be able to see all four balls from the internal TrackMan camera and also from the face-on external camera. In the TPS software, in the top right hand corner, you'll notice a camera icon. Click on this, and then under Casio EXF1, you'll see the Calibrate button. Go ahead and click here. Then an image for both cameras will appear in the screen. And you'll notice that I already have some calibration visible, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and click Clear. Now we can see that I can see all four balls from the internal TrackMan camera and then also see all full four balls from the external face-on camera. Now I need to select each ball in the correct order. All right, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place this club down as a reference. So I'm gonna place it so that the grip is pointed towards what's gonna be ball one, and then the club head is gonna be pointed towards what's gonna be ball three. So if I go back into the TrackMan software, so on the left-hand side, you'll see the internal TrackMan camera with all four balls. And then on the right hand side, you'll see the external face on camera with our, all four balls. Now the important thing to know on the internal camera is that none of the balls can be above this thin brown line. So now that we've got the balls placed and we can see the club in the picture, let's choose ball number one, which is next to the grip. And it's really important that we get these crosshairs lined up as centered as possible on the golf ball. After we've done that with ball number one, let's go to ball number two. And then over to ball number three, which is near the club head. And finally, ball number four. After selecting all four balls in the internal TrackMan camera, now we need to go over to the face on camera. And we can see that the perspective has shifted quite a bit. It's been rotated 90 degrees. So now we need to select ball number one, which is next to the grip. Again, make sure that we line up the crosshairs as centered as possible. Then ball number two, ball number three, which is near the club head. And finally, ball number four. Once we've selected all four balls in the correct order, we can go ahead and click Calibrate. Now you can see successfully calibrated the Casio EXF1. If I click OK, you'll notice the lines on the ground and it looks like it's pretty good. It looks like it's laying fairly flat on the ground, so it looks like we've got a pretty good calibration here. We can go ahead and click Close. And then let's make sure that recording both of those cameras so record from the TrackMan camera and also the Casio camera. Wait for it to go green and we're ready to hit a shot. All right, now we have that last shot there with the internal camera on the left and the external face-on camera on the right. You can see that we have our TrackMan graphics overlay in the pictures, uh, but we can notice that there's a little problem with where it detected the ball was. So what we can do is if we move the mouse on top of the golf ball and right click, we can set ball position. This will readjust the graphics to make sure they're in the correct spot and relative to our target line. Now you've seen how to calibrate an external face on camera. And remember that you can use a club or another object to make sure that you're choosing the golf balls in the correct order. Since the face on camera is looking at it from a different perspective, it makes it a lot easier to make sure you're doing it correctly.